It's great to see you today, Jack. All right, so inflation is one that you're looking at. I'm interested in your thoughts bouncing off of what Ron had to say about whether inflation is collapsing. But what are the other signs that you're looking for? Sure. Um, really, bottom line for me is the U.S. dollar. Um, the dollar's been st strong on anticipated Fed tightening, particularly uh, against other central banks. And so once we get to a point where perhaps we see light at the end of the tunnel of Fed tightening, whatever that may be, 4%, whatever that number is, then we would expect to see the dollar roll over. One of the ways that I can confirm that the dollar is trending lower is to see the dollar's 50-day uh, moving average cross below its 200-day moving average. Uh, and right now, that's probably just given its strength, uh, that could be uh, several weeks away at, at a minimum. Uh, the other is credit spreads. Um, the, the yield premium lenders require to extend credit to lower quality borrowers. Now, this broke down uh, in late January, early February, and one of the reasons why we took an additional uh, measure out of uh, our equity risk and moved into gold, um, that has still stayed in a uh, risk-off position. Uh, now, I will say uh, banks are starting to tighten their lending standards, and so that's tending to move uh, mm -hmm. uh, an argument away from easier credit. But if we could see those yield premiums come down, that would also be another indication that, okay, maybe we're moving back to a risk-on environment. Ron made his case. Inflation is collapsing. Do you agree with it or not agree with it? I know you sent us a chart that we can put up where you show various commodities uh, that would tend to argue against what Ron said. But basic question, do you agree with what Insana said or disagree? I in, ge in general, I do. Uh, I do believe that inflation is trending lower. Uh, I, it, I do believe it peaked in June and will you know, head back slowly toward the Fed's target. The problem, Tyler, is it's a monthly indicator, and the market is day, minute to minute. Um, and so it's going to take several months for us to say, indeed, uh, inflation is trending lower and consistently lower. Uh, and right now, expectations are uh, inflation not hitting the Fed's target till something like 2026. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a very slow erosion of, of uh, yeah. inflation right now. We're looking at one of the charts there. I, I do buy gasoline down seven and a half. I don't typically buy lean hogs. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if I did, I'd be grateful that they're, they're not as expensive contests yeah. as they were. Yeah. Well, I think, but it, I do think if you look at this and the, the heating oil, we're heading into winter, that's one of the biggest contributors to inflation, um, a, along with uh, natural gas, corn and um, wheat at this point, which affects food prices, of course. Those are the things that have consumers on guard and matter to their spending. Uh, Jack, I'm just wondering, when you're looking for these signs that the equities market has bottomed, are you taking risks now on equities? Or are you still trying to play a, a defensive posture here with high quality companies and dividends? Right. So we're still defensive. So generally, we're underweight equities. Our growth portfolio, which would normally in a, a risk on market, would be 100 percent allocated to equity risk. Uh, right now, we have uh, 20 percent out of the market, uh, some in non-correlated, which you could call hedge funds, another 10 percent. Uh, in gold. Um, so th what we are doing is within our equity positions, we want high quality companies that pay a strong and consistent dividend. And then once we start to see evidence that the dollar's rolling over, we're moving back to a risk on position, my sense is any new uh, buys that we're going to make in the equity market will likely be in foreign markets. Um, the yen, for example, is remarkably cheap. I've never seen the yen this cheap relative to the U.S. dollar. Of course, cheap markets can get cheaper, uh, but this is a, an area where I suspect when the tide ultimately turns on risk-taking and the dollar rolls over, I believe foreign markets will lead the way higher. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.